Christy is keeping tabs on Tropical Storm Chris. That's right. Uh, still, it is the Tropical Storm. This is the most recent data from the National Hurricane Center as they're monitoring Chris's development and strength, uh, producing 60 mile per hour winds right now with gusts up to 70. Movement right now is just kind of meandering here just off the coast. And the good news is it will stay off the coast of the United States as it is expected to develop into a Category 1 hurricane and then continue to move off to the north and east. They're eventually weakening back into a tropical uh, depression. So we will watch how things develop through the day. It does mean uh, some rough surf for the next couple of days along the east coast of the United States, but thankfully still not expecting any direct impacts. When it comes to our forecast here in the Miami Valley, we are uh, just kind of being dominated right now by quiet weather for today, but our next storm system will arrive tomorrow, and it is going to bring with it the chance for showers and thunderstorms. When it comes to the outlook for the Montgomery County Fair, you've got a great forecast this afternoon. It is going to be the hot and humid day of the week, though, so make sure you've got water bottles and you're staying cool. Gabrielle Enright will have more on uh, the fair here as we go through the morning. When it comes to tomorrow, late afternoon, we're watching those storms that could develop and then Wednesday, back to dry weather. Wednesday is also going to be one of the more comfortable days of the week with low humidity and temperatures a little bit cooler. Live look outside this morning in Troy. You can see it's a pretty quiet start to our day here. A 67 degrees, a light breeze right now, not seeing much fog development. And through the afternoon, we'll push to 90. Not tracking much in terms of any cloud cover. That does mean the morning commute will end up being pretty bright today. Definitely want to grab the sunglasses. Live Doppler 7 radar scanning the sky is just a few miles away from the station. We're dry for now, but we will be using that tomorrow to track some storms. Temperatures are sitting right in the 60s across most of the Miami Valley, a little warmer in Dayton, 60 degrees in Urbana, and 64 right now in Eaton. Our hourly forecast takes us up to 90 in the Dayton area. So once again, this could be another 90 degree day that we're racking up for 2018. This afternoon, some other cities like Fairborn and Sydney may fall just a few degrees shy, sitting in the upper 80s. Uh, but most of us here are definitely going to have a really warm afternoon. Future cast for today just shows some scattered clouds trying to develop into the afternoon hours. Future cast tries to spit out a stray sprinkle, but I think in general it will just be the cloud cover we track and not necessarily any thunderstorms we have to worry about today. Tomorrow is when we'll see those storms develop. 70 overnight, feeling pretty nice, but definitely starting to get muggy tonight. Tomorrow we're at 87, hot and humid. And we will track the chance for some thunderstorms. And with those thunderstorms, does there come the potential for a severe storm or two? I think the biggest weather threat tomorrow will come from damaging winds. But if we do get enough heavy rain to fall fast enough, we'll have to watch for some hunting on the roads, possibly some flash flooding. Futurecast brings the clouds in pretty quickly. After lunch, we are already starting to see these thunderstorms develop. And they're going to be with us during the afternoon hours, kind of tapering down as we head towards early evening. This upcoming weekend overall doesn't look too bad. You're definitely going to get at least half of the weekend to stay dry. I think as we move towards Sunday, that's going to be the next best chance for a few showers and storms. Your five-day forecast, though, you get a little bit of everything this week. Heat and humidity today, thunderstorms tomorrow, and then a break here from the muggy weather on Wednesday and Thursday. We bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's check back in with John Tisdale. Good morning, John. Hey, good morning, Kirsty. Uh, we do have proof on the scene of a rollover crash. This is on southbound US 68 between US 40 and Interstate 70. That's where a traffic tracker is on scene. And we are seeing that the right lane is close in that area, southbound US 68. The left lane is open, so it's not, not seeing that effect in traffic at this time on uh, southbound US 68 in Clark County. We're traveling on I-70 in the area of Airport Access Road. Traffic is moving at normal speeds at this location. I'm John Tisno, WHILT Traffic. John, thank you. It is 521, 67 degrees. A costly mix-up for the U.S. Postal Service, why the agency must now pay an artist millions of dollars. And Corvette owners coming out for a good cause, how the car enthusiasts are supporting local charities.